Let's talk about how we use grid layout in Sunshine. Our key lines guide us in laying out the top today section. We begin with the grid layout declaration. Note that we are using the support library version, so you will have to prefix grid layout specific XML attributes with app and include the res auto schema. We use a column count of two. Adding a column count isn't strictly necessary as you can just specify the row and column of each child but it does simplify the declaration of each of the children. Our first child is the Space Widget. Space is a lightweight view subclass that is used to create gaps between components. It can be used anywhere, but it's actually part of the Grid Layout Support Library. We'll have this Space Widget span both columns with a column span of 2. We'll give it a column weight of 1, so it will take up all available width and a row weight of 1, so it will participate in getting any extra row space when the layout is complete. First of all, the 16 dp spaces, using the padding horizontal material constant from the support library above and below the text view, are generated from layout margin attributes. Remember that adding a layout margin actually changes the borders around your layout. We're using material styles here. In this case, we're using the title style and applying the standard sans serif font family with our secondary text color from the material theme, since the title text appearance uses a different font weight and color. Note the use of the tools.txt feature here. This allows us to populate the view with text for the purposes of editing without impacting the production code. This view also spans both columns. Because we want column weight to be calculated for both columns, we must have it here and everywhere we declare a child. We're finally actually using both columns. As before, we need to declare a column weight so the grid view will distribute the extra weight. We're finally actually using both columns. As before, we need to declare a column weight so the grid view will distribute the extra weight. A couple of notes about the image view. I'm using max height and max width along with adjust view bounds to limit the size of our weather image. This allows more flexibility in layout but still allows us to have a theme image that may be larger than our layout size. The image view also uses a source tag with the tools namespace to display an image in the editor tools. We set up the forecast text view and the low temperature text view in the same way as the columns in the previous row. Note that we are actually giving the low temperature text view a margin, which is applying across both columns. Finally, we add another space widget with a row weight to keep the rest of the content centered within the grid layout. And that's it. We have the top of our detail layout, which is included from detail today, grid.xml. The rest is up to you.